we went into the epidemic area, but we had no clue how this new virus was transmitted. All we knew was that it was very uh, lethal, that so lots of people were dying, but exactly how many, we didn't know. And what we found was an abandoned hospital in a place called Yamboku, which was a, an old mission hospital. And what do you do in case of uh, you know, this kind of uh, situation where you're confronted with an epidemic of unknown transmission and origin with a new virus? First, you try to stop it. So in this case, we installed quarantine of all the patients, and, uh, and that's still uh, the hallmark of uh, dealing with this epidemic. But then you try to define uh, the epidemic in terms of three very simple questions, time, place, and person. So how is it evolving over time? Are we still uh, you know, getting more and more cases, or is it finished? And, and on the base of the curve of this, uh, uh, the time curve of an epidemic, you can already learn something about transmission modes. Secondly, um, where is it? So we mapped out the cases, and it turned out that nearly everybody had had some contact with either the hospital or with someone who had died from Ebola and, that, and had gone to a funeral. And thirdly, uh, who's getting it? Person. And um, as a first uh, you know, uh, step, what you try to define is men and women and uh, which age group. So how is it distributed? And what we found was uh, initially is that there were more women than men affected who died from Ebola, particularly in the age group 20 to 35. Now, we were a group of men, and it took us uh, uh, a while to say what's the difference between a man and a woman of that age. And of course, women can get pregnant, certainly in this part of the world. And, uh, and yes, we, we looked at it, and nearly all women who had died from Ebola in, a, in excess of the men of their age group uh, either had just delivered or uh, were still pregnant. And they all had visited the antenatal clinic of the mission, which was very popular. Why? Because everybody got an injection, and injections were popular, gave a good feeling. And then it took a while to uh, figure out what, uh, what happened there, because it was not really uh, into our uh, framework of thinking. And that is that um, Mother Superior of this uh, hospital uh, distributed five syringes and needles every morning, that could be used at the antenatal clinic. And so um, they were reused all the time, and that's how many, many women became infected.